All right, so part two of reaching the thousand lane milestone, right? I'm just breaking this into two parts so it doesn't become one fucking giant thing for those of you who don't have time. If you haven't seen part one, a super quick recap. Well, first of all, part two is going to cover my progression from the start of my pickup and game journey all the way to this big milestone. Um, if you haven't seen part one yet, the key points there is I'm starting a WhatsApp mastermind group where I'm accessible over phone um, at all times to this group. It's going to be a hundred people max. The cost is $97 first come first serve. My second product is being released January 1st. That is going to be on sale for $200 off early bird discount. And my YouTube is making a lot of changes. I'm going to have three regular new vi regular new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and a YouTube live every Sunday night with an ask me anything. Oh, and one important point about that ask me anything every Sunday night is I'm going to be giving away a free ver version of access to my product, Occam's Razor, for those that are at the end. Like basically, who's ever left at the end, I will just select one of those people, say so-and-so, you get access to the product, okay? Which will encourage people to watch the whole thing because there's going to be a lot of valuable shit coming out. All right, so for my progression, uh, I'm 35 now. Um, I hit, well, I don't know which date it was, but I hit... Uh, a thousand lays last week. Right now it's the, the 19th. Let's see. I hit it. Let's say one. Yeah, so it was a week ago. So, so I hit it on the 12th of December 2019. Um, I lost my virginity at the end of my freshman year of college, which was in 2002. Okay. So, okay. So let's look at it. from 2002 up until like 2013, basically middle of 2012 middle of 2012 that's when i hit my first 100 girls okay so that and that was before knowing any game um actually i learned mystery method around 2009 okay so point is it took 10 years for the first 100 then it started getting to the point where it was 100 a year then in 2015 it was able to get to um, 143 in the year i didn't think that was going to be toppable and then from July 2017 to July 18, it was like 245, right? Why has this happened? It's just been like, it's basically been like, if you look, I've graphed this out, it's just basically been like this um, exponential progression, you know, where it's, of course, it can't go on forever. It's not going to be like <laughs> fucking like thousands of girls in a year. It's not even possible unless I hired like an outsourcing team and just had them coming in a conveyor belt or something. Stop. He dealt, he did all the lead working himself. Uh, <laughs> that's a project for another day. Um, basically, what I've done since the beginning, the the format. Okay, I'll, I'll go back to the formation, the methods. So the formation. I started with mystery method. I was doing all that stuff, but a lot of the stuff was inefficient and, and suboptimal. Which I won't go into all those details of what it was, of what the things were, but I didn't even realize until later. But around. I want to say 2012, there was a forum called Top Beasts. Top Beasts. And it was supposed to be the best pickup artist in the world. Now, this was 2012. Okay, so a lot has changed since then. But around then, like, there were some, you know, really top guys um, that a lot of them, like, got married or uh, not even pick up, not even in pickup anymore. But this was supposed to be the best 30 guys in the world. It was like a evolution of, like, Mysteries Lounge. Like, Mysteries Lounge back in the day was, like, one of the first... Um, pickup groups that like underground on the forums and that kind of stuff the book the game came out in 2005 2006 so you had mysteries lounge and then you had this top beasts and on these, this top beast forum i personally connected with each of these guys turns out i already knew a bunch of them because like we had met each other through other forums and introduced you know the top guys knew who other top guys were and the way they selected these top 30 guys was based on our field reports based on who could vouch for us based on who had seen us in field, like there's a whole set of criteria based on our um, posts. Top beasts. And it was fucking awesome to have gotten into that, given that I had been a shy virgin in high school and I was like raised very Catholic and I was planning on waiting until marriage to have sex. But uh, that's irrelevant. The point is, in this top beast form, I consulted with each one of these guys individually and I went and just vacuumed up all the knowledge that I could what are each of these guys doing that's getting them these results and a lot of it was similar to what i was doing so then i just analyzed all of it and for those of you that don't know my background 
I did philosophy and computer science, cognitive science. I used to work on nuclear missile defense. I used to play professional poker and I used to, not professional chess, but I used to play compete in chess and in math competitions. Um, I do have like a very high IQ. This isn't bragging at all. This is exactly how the system came to be. A smart man knows eating pussy cures depression, but once you quit eating it, the pussy gets depressed again. So I have this analytical ability that's like really, really top notch. And I don't even take personal credit for it because I've read neuroscience books that show that most of your intelligence is based on your genetics. That's a fact, like it or not. It's called The Blank Slate by Steven Pinker. So I then turned this, these analytical powers, if you will, to social dynamics. I analyzed this big set of data that I had collected from all these guys. Where the, where's the common overlaps in the key areas that lead to these results? And then I was able to prioritize it and kind of like form the whole kind of skeleton of my system as it exists today. Then over time, it's been an evolutionary process. Okay, like look at evolution in nature. Um, you start off with a single cell organism, then it starts, you know, pre-selecting for uh, pre-selection. Uh, it starts for things that can see light and like blah, blah, blah. And eventually it turns into an eye and then like a more complex eye and then all the different parts of the brain, like over all this fucking time. And obviously I haven't been perfecting this for millions of years, like, <laughs> like evolution did. But the point is, is I've, I've had this whole system in my mind the whole time and I'm, I'm constantly scanning it for where are the weak spots, where are the suboptimal spots, where are the, where are the areas that really, really, really are critical that if improved could make a big, um, impact on the outcome and on the goal of, or not the outcome of the goal, the, the results of the system as a whole. Right. And it, and it's a pro it's a scientific, uh, method of, of iteratively, which means cyclically like introducing like a new variable like okay i'm going to try this and then testing it against results and i i also continued to be from the top guys and i constantly hunted out any guy i could find that was better than me if i can find a guy that's better than me at day game why is he better than me at day game if i can find a guy that's better than me at pulling which was hard to find why is it a guy that's better than me at texting a guy that's better than me at retention with with retaining the girls a guy better at hired guns, a guy better at social circle game, a guy better at even like little simple things like stopping a moving set, like, oh, I was, I could do this better. And that kind of relentless, like almost fucking, <laughs> I want to say like fucking crazy, but just, I, I'm an optimizer. So like, I've just been trying to optimize and trying to optimize. And, try, and that's why you see a hundred taking 10 years, then a hundred taking one year, then 143 and then 245 and I don't know how far, how much further it could go <laughs> or how much further I even want it to go or the world wants it to go for the you know for all the people that fucking hate me now <laughs> but uh, for better or worse I have brought it to an extreme degree where I think there's enough diminishing returns now that I don't think there are too many tweaks I could make. I mean, I have some ideas, but I don't, there are too many tweaks that could bring this like further. I mean, no one even has time to, you know, put in the, the amount of time for the dates and nights out and Tinder swiping that you would need to hit 245 in a year. And anyway, this is not about the numbers. This is about optimally with high prob with the highest probability converting a stranger that you talk to or a stranger that you match with online into sex, right? And for those of you who are like, no, that's not what this is about. Okay, why are you swiping on Tinder just for fun? Some of you are, that's stupid. I mean, and that's not that stupid, but okay, that's that's different than most guys' goal. Why are you walking up to that random stranger on the street or at the bar or the club? It's because you want to sleep with her, you want to bring her into your life. And that doesn't mean you want to be a womanizer, you want to objectify them, or you want to be a misogynist. Those, those are completely two different things. And I'm not any of those things. Often gets confused because I talk in terms of numbers and flow charts and systems. But I'm get, trying to give guys and perfect a system and for myself too, to have the highest probability of when I talk to a stranger, can I get her in my life, right? And I might not keep her in my life or I might not want her in my life once I realize her personality is not compatible with mine or maybe she has some negative qualities that I don't like or maybe she's a loser or, you know, whatever the fuck it may be. 
because pe different people have different standards and different preferences and blah, blah, blah. But I want to give you guys the tools. Like that's what this guy told me on the, on the program that I ran in New York City last weekend. He said, dude, like, fuck. Like, uh, he's like, I have this power now for life. Like, it's like a superpower. <laughs> I can go up to girl like he was texting me like when I was like leaving the program he was texting me like uh he's like just got two numbers at the airport he's like lol this is so easy and it's a really nice feeling to be able to see a pretty girl and know exactly what to do exactly what to say and he said I feel really um first of all he called me like <laughs> the Bobby Fisher of chess who was who was like the best like grandmaster who would just look at the situation make a move look at the situation make a move look at the situation make a move while all the, his opponents are like trying to like sequentially think through all the moves, but he has it so automatically ingrained because he has heuristics and his brain circuitry has adapted to just jump to the right thing. But the point of that is in my teachings, in my products and in my live trainings, I have given him the tools to operate like the grandmaster, not to be fucking narcissistic. I've given him the tools to operate like the expert. And it's the result of a decade of testing evolving um refining right it, it started off by taking the best pickup artists in the world the top beasts and find out what they're all doing right then i was able to and a lot of these innovations have come into the community like the wine date to the house like any number of these these fucking like little lines or little moves or whatever that are like circulating all around the forums that guys are getting lots of results from those came from me, right? I'm not trying to take credit for everything good that's happened in the community or any, every, every innovation. But since I've just been eat, breathing and sleeping this for 10 years and just been relentlessly committed to it, I have, you know, and, I, and I'm smart too, right? So I'm thinking like, how could this, it's like problem solving. How could this situation work better? How could the, how could we make the system work better, right? I was put in charge and this isn't bragging, I'm just kind of showing the qualifications here. I was put in charge of helping to, if there was a nuclear, biological, or chemical missile attack on the United States or our allies, my job was to optimize the speed of response time and the accuracy of response against an attack like this, right? So if Iran or North Korea attacks LA or New York City, how do we like cut the time down that it takes to stop it to as low as possible? And how do we make the system be as accurate as possible? And I was working that job at age 23 out of college. Okay, that's a hell of a lot more important than how do I get the highest probability to fuck this chick? <laughs> Arguably, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but the same principle applies, right? I, we have a system. How do we optimize it? How do we make it better? Okay, it's better. How do we make it even better now? Okay, it's it's really good now. Is it the best it could be? I don't think so. And that's what keeps us so fun. Like, there's still, like, new, I'm not going to say hacks, but still t different tweaks that it's like a it's like an endless process. But like I said, it's, it's gotten so far to the point now where kind of like my, my Occam's Razor, my first product was, was really like my de definitive work, which gives, like, my whole soup to nuts uh, set of game and gets into, you know, 70 plus in fields where you can see what I'm doing, what I'm saying from start to finish. But really kind of the, the creme de la creme of my pickup career now is this Leeds Machine product that I'm releasing on January 1st. And it's like perfect timing with the th hitting the thousand mark. But the reason for that is, is I have this massive flow chart that's showing you what to do in every single case from getting that lead, getting that phone number, whether it be from Tinder, whether it be from day game, whether it be from night game, whether it be from social circle, and taking it down every possible control path, dealing with every possible situation in the optimal way to get the meetup, which when you get the meetup, you can have the opportunity to sleep with the girl. And that's from 10 years of, of just refining, refining, refining. Um, so just to recap, the, the key principles of what has made the system the best system and made it so effective and so lethal is, because no one has a system like this. Like, if you look around or if you know anything about the 
the lay counts, which is which is kind of the metric that I've been using all throughout, like how many girls are you closing, which everyone, not everyone, but the competitors like shit all over it because they're not nearly as good. And they say like, oh, it's unhealthy to think that way. In sales, you're tracking closes. Like the measure of success is like getting a sale, right? It's about, in this game, it's about sleeping with a chick. It doesn't mean it's like a fucking race or like a dick measuring contest or that the whole goal is just to like fuck the world, right? <laughs> it's, you know, you want to get, some of you want to get that dream girl. Some of you want to have your dream rotation. Some of you just want to sleep with a lot of girls, okay? But a byproduct of doing this in the best system possible is you're going to sleep with a lot of girls, right? And that, that wasn't really ever my goal. I've, I've run rotations all along the way that I'm very close to and that I have very good emotional connections to, okay? Whereas you take someone like Chris Wilde from Social Prime and he told me he has emotional connections with zero of the girls. He won't go on a second date with a girl, which is fucking crazy, if she won't put out on the first date. I'll go on four or five dates with a girl, even if we haven't kissed, if I like her, because I enjoy spending time with her. So despite talking all these numbers and formulas and blah, 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 it's not about objectifying or manipulating or, um, you know, turn, making them into a number or, or just a conquest or something like that. By being good at this, you meet a lot of girls. That brings rotation girls in. Sometimes the rotation doesn't work, girl doesn't work out or, or you get bored of each other or she gets a boyfriend, it doesn't matter. And you, you meet another one and it, she becomes a rotation girl. Okay. These are like the points. Seek out the top guys, pick their brains, copy what they're doing, okay? I think arguably, and I can back that up, that I am the top guy. So seek out what I'm doing and copy it. It's that simple. My new mastermind group, I'm gonna be giving you the exact perfect uh, answers to your situations and to your questions and that's going to be 100 person limited group okay and the products that i put out no product can touch those products because they just can't but i know the results that guys are getting typically from most of the pickup products out there and i know the results guys are getting from mine and it's it's like a giant divide same with my uh live trainings it's just like a fucking night and day difference um Okay, so you see how top guys cap what they're doing. Um, the way that I've, and this isn't stuff you need to do, but the way, the way that I've moved it forward is I'm um, constantly innovating. Okay, so I'm constantly trying to introduce new things like the wine date to the house. Okay, or like, there's, there's, there's a whole bunch of examples, right, of, of different things that have really led to a whole bunch of um, improvements, okay, in the, in the results and the quality of the girls and having to do less work in terms of going out and all this stuff. Then the other piece is constantly scanning for weak spots, right? Where is the system suboptimal, suboptimal? Where is it falling apart, et cetera, et cetera. That's pretty much it, okay? So my goal now for 2019, okay, as 2018 draws to a close, is I want to blow up my YouTube. I talk about in part one of this video, how exactly I'm going to do that. Not not in full detail, but I'm working with the top YouTube expert that's going to direct me to do certain things. One of the first big changes is I'm gonna have three three new videos a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They're gonna be way better produced. Okay, they're gonna be way more engaging and interesting. It's not just gonna be me rambling in a fucking dark space <laughs> as the sun goes down here. Um, <laughs> and you know, there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff coming. And then Every Sunday night, you guys can tune in. There's going to be an Ask Me Anything alive for one hour or more at, at, uh, on Sundays at 7 p.m. EST. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's other... I'll, I'll probably do a, a, a way more like history of, of all the shit that I went through in this, in this game. Basically, there's been like a million adventures. Um, I spent... Let's see. I spent like six years in Philadelphia... I spent one year in Vegas. I spent two years in San Diego. I spent six months in Miami. I spent a year in Puerto Rico. I spent three months in Kiev, Ukraine, three months in Lisbon, Portugal, uh, five months in Warsaw, Poland. Um, I spent a few months in Beijing, China. I spent six months in London. I spent four months in Colombia and Medellin in Bogota. I can speak fluent Spanish. I spent some time in San, like a little, uh, amounts of time in San Francisco, Toronto, Montreal, um, Bucharest, Amsterdam, 
um, just a, just a whole bunch of places, uh, and then you know all the random boot camps and different other places. Oh, Dallas, I spent about six months. North Carolina, I spent about six months. So I've moved I moved around the world, and I've gained in a lot of places, and it's given me a lot of perspectives, and it's been an awesome journey, right? Like there's been the cool thing about game is, especially when you're getting better at it, or you're, get, you're getting like to a, a good level. Once you hit like the first fifty or the first hundred. And you're operating it on a more expert level, which I can take you to quickly, is you're having like a new adventure every day, right? And and you're ha- and you're like meeting super cool girls everywhere, right? Like I met a super cool girl at the airport on the way to the boot camp in New York, right? You just you just see them and you know what to do, you know what to say, and it just takes the guesswork away. And my my student that I keep talking about on this past pro- past weekend program, he's like, dude, knowing exactly what to do and what to say. And like, he's like, I almost feel bad that I get to short circuit like 10 years of your relentless analysis and optimization. And I can just do what you're doing at this level now and, it, and make it work. He's like, I feel kind of bad because I didn't have to put in all that work for it. He's like, why the fuck do you have like RSD like so popular or like other stupid companies out, out there that are just all these people are like, you know, glued to their stupid, um, long videos that are much better produced than mine, but the content is not there. Those guys aren't, most of them are not real players. Most of them have not seen or done anywhere near what I have in the game or accomplished what I have in the game or innovated what I have in the game or had results from the the students and clients that I have had in the game. And he's like, dude, he's like, you owe it to yourself. Like, or you owe it to the world is what he said and myself to put this in front of as many people as possible, right? It's basically like, I have the system now, I have the method, I have the answers, I have all the answers mostly. And it's very rare that there's a situation that comes up that I don't know how to deal with. And if if there is, it's similar enough to something else that I can adapt to it properly. But he's like, you need to fucking get this in front of people. Like 3,000 subscribers for for the level that this content is at, it's obviously fucking, it's frankly embarrassing and it's unacceptable. So that's going to be the focus in 2019 is blowing up this channel, fucking lightning past all these coaches that are just total clowns, to be honest. Like, I don't respect almost any of the coaches out there. I can count on one hand who I, who I do, and they're not popular in the mainstream. Um, so that'll be the focus. Thank you for the loyal followers that who who's been there since the beginning where I'm fucking drunk and on tangents and being fucking crazy and whatever. Those are the, the good old days <laughs> that are going to be put to rest. And moving forward, I want to keep this fucking, you know, high level production, do everything by the book and fucking take this to the next level. The content will, will still remain at a high level and will still be there. And I did promise you guys, um, there was going to be a series on the lead machine stuff. And that is still coming uh, in December here. So start looking for the three videos a week, probably starting after the holidays and that weekly uh, YouTube live. And that's it for now. But thank you guys again. It's a very fucking exciting time in my life to to have hit this, this milestone here. And uh, I don't I don't know if any other pick bars has, has legitimately done this. There's a couple of guys that have claimed it that have turned out to be liars. Because if you know what it takes and you and you have seen them in field or, or any of these other number of factors that go into determining if someone's lying about this, it's pretty easy to spot a fake, right? So I don't think, if I'm being honest, I don't think anybody else has hit it yet. It's not, not to say there aren't plenty of celebrities and athletes and shit that have. And again, it's not all about the, the fucking numbers, but happy to have, have made it to the quadruple digits. And again... If you want to join my mastermind, 100 spots, 97 bucks a month, cancel at any time, and email me, epdatingcoach.gmail.com. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me as well. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And hope you guys have a happy and healthy new year. Okay. See you guys later.